Hey guys, and welcome to Astro Music and Tutorials. So today I decided to challenge myself a little. I discovered this number generator on Google that just generates a random number for you, like the name suggests. So I thought I'd take a plugin, make it generate a random number, and choose a preset based on that number, and try to make a song with it. I'll generate a number for each category, like bass, drums, lead. I warn you, it's not gonna sound good. It's gonna be randomly generated, random sounds. I'm just gonna work with what I get and try my best. Let's get into the video. Okay, so what I thought was to make this more doable, I thought I'd choose one plugin for the entire song. See, I'm gonna be using Pigments by Arturia for this song. It has a good collection of different categories like bass, electric piano, lead, and all that. So, what I'm gonna do is go to the number generator, generate a random number, and choose according to the category that I need from this plugin. Otherwise, it's just... Uh, why would I do that to myself? It's... It, it would be too hard. This just makes it a little bit easier. And this is the first time I'm doing this, so... If this video turns out good, and the song actually turns out good, I could do another video with multiple plugins. That's gonna be fun. But yeah, let's go. Let's start with, uh... Keys. So, electric piano or piano? Normal piano. Okay, there's only four piano. So... We'll keep the minimum as one and the maximum as four, just for this. I'll adjust the minimum and maximum category according to the number of presets in each category. I'm saying category a lot, but yeah, let's let's go. One. What a way to start off. Piano, combined, grand. What does that even sound like? Oh, that's not bad. It has that vinyl sound to it. Sounded bad. Let's name that as piano. Yeah, I have a keyboard right here. I don't know why I use that. But yeah. Let's try to make it a little bit more. Boost the mids a little bit. So now let's come up with a chord progression. Oh, it's at the BPM. 72. That's usually my sweet spot. I actually got it. It wasn't that bad. I mean, yeah, the... Notes are all over the place. Look at that. It's not even on the line. Why do I even have the metronome on? And just excuse me while I just quantize this to perfection. Here's the piano progression. So we got the piano down. I need to find something in the keys to layer that piano progression. So that's what we need. Let's go back to the number generator. And this time, yeah, there's obviously there's a lot of a lot of presets. So let's keep it as a hundred. Now let's generate 77. Now, am I gonna have to count all this? It's not numbered. Oh god. Excuse me while I count. So yeah, after counting, this is what I got. The Fragile Electric Piano. How does that sound? It's actually not bad. Now let's copy the chord progression of the piano. Go to Pattern 2, select Pigments number 2. And here's how that sounds. It doesn't have a lot of sustain, but I think that's going to work in our favor with when the two melodies or progressions are layered together. It's 
actually sounds good. So next, what do we need? We need a base. So let's go open up our third pigments. Let's go to the base section. To be honest, I've never seen or used any of the base. I think it's, it's actually catered to the future house type genre. So they're not really mellow enough for lo-fi, but let's see what it has in store. Could surprise me. There's a lot of weird names. Okay, well, let's go. Number generator, I'll leave it at 102. Generate. 11, oh, that's an easy number. And let's start counting. Artifacts. No, that is not the sound that I was looking for. Ah, that's not the sound I was looking for. Can we do something with it? Fruity base boost. Let's see what we can do with this. Just remember, Lo-Fi does not need a lot of heavy bass. Something really subtle, just like this, will do. I hope. Uh, get rid of all these extra notes. Hmm. We don't need an earth-shattering bass line or anything. That simply follows the bass notes of the piano, and that's all we need. That sounds good. Now we need some drums. So, Pigments already has a drum section that I have never touched before. Out of fear. See? What is all this? So they have kicks and slaps and snares and everything. So what I wanted to do originally was, just for the drums, I'd rely on the sample pack that I always use. When I decided that, I didn't know that Arturia had a drums section. So now that I see it, I think it might be fun if we experiment with these sounds. Let's go. We'll start with the kick. We don't need a hundred. Ten. I don't even know if we need ten, but let's generate. Two. Easy enough. Drums. Is, is a slam a kick? I don't know. What is What is slam? Yeah, that's not a kick. We'll just count everything that ends with a kick. The second thing that ends with a kick is this EDM kick. It's been a while since I've had a kick in the pattern. Kick in the piano roll. I usually just copy it over to the playlist. I'll Guess that's as, as mellow as I can make an EDM kick. So let's go to the next pigments and let's find a snare this time. Generate another number. Eight. That was right before EDM kick drum later. Let's see. is that yeah, I need to take the effects off oh, that sounds so bad okay this time I'm not gonna go for a randomly generated number I'm just gonna search through and see if I can find some hi-hats. That's the closest thing to a hi-hat. Oh. got the piano melody, we've got a melodic layer, we've got the bass, the, the drums, somehow. Now we need, a, we, need, we need some pads, 
and we need a lead. Let's start with the pad first. Seven pigments. This is already starting to destroy my laptop a little bit. Obviously, I've used the pads a lot, so yeah, I know there's like a hundred. To the number generator. Maximum, hundred. Generate. Twenty-three. Let's start counting. Black hole pad. Finally. That is not so bad. That is such a good pad. It has its own little rhythm. So we're just gonna hold down these two notes throughout the entirety of the song. That is all you need. Beautiful. Widen the sound. Now last but not least, the eighth pigment. It's gonna be a lead. I'm also familiar with the lead section, so I know it has a hundred. Oh, not a hundred. Wait, no, that's an organ. Yeah, lead. Oh, not a hundred, but yeah, well, we'll see. Number generator. Get this out of my. Generate. 36. Flutie. It's not bad. It has built-in bird sounds. I like that. I don't love it, but it's not bad. Try adding a shimmer to it. OTT. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, it's gonna sound terrible, but... Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Now here's the full beat. My CPU was just dying. I don't know if you noticed that lag you saw during this entire section. To be honest, it doesn't sound as bad as I thought it would. I like the ambient bird noises. That was a nice touch. It just needs a little bit more mixing. I didn't have much faith in the track, so that's why I didn't mix it much. But it's not that bad. Just replace the drums and I think we actually have a song. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of this video. I hope you're not too disappointed with the song. Like I said, it'll just get easier and better as I keep making more of these videos. If you like your channel, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.